welcome back so now in this video we will be working on how to draw a polygon for the specific area or the restricted area so what I'll do now first I'll just close this dart file okay and now we will simply jump toward the lib right click on that create a new directory by the name my polygon now right in this specific directory right click create a new dart file by the name my instead of space underscore and then we say polygon now in here we will have a start for widget so write st now we will simply just give the name as my polygon we don't need this key simply tell that from here and right after that we're going to simply click upon this startful widget right click on this red bulb import the library material dot dot now simply we will copy that specific name my polygon go to where the main dot dot and we're going to simply call upon that in here right at end braces we'll click upon that import the library we are done with it and now go towards the my polygon dot dot in here back again now we have to go and just hold to load the app and guys remember in here we are having that empty container for now so we will have an empty screen totally as you guys can see right in here the first thing that I will do now I'll just integrate the Google map and you guys know how to just integrate the Google map it's a simple steps and if you guys don't know and remember guys I have already explained this in the previous videos so what I'll do for the time saving I'll go to where the my home screen open that specific dart file we will go up from here we will copy that controller as you guys can see Google map control completer and right after that you guys can see that initial position so we will copy that from here for now and go towards the my polygon dot dot let me just there we go and here we'll go towards my polygon dot dot and what I'll do above the widget bill in here we'll paste it okay now click upon that and we have to just import the library there we go also click upon the completer all just fine the error has been gone now we will go back toward the my home screen dot dart as you guys can see that specific dart file and we will just move down and we are having that scaffold widget in here and then right in the body we are having that safe area widget so we have to just copy that from here that specific widget let's copy it from here to here okay copy it and go towards the my polygon dot dot in here so we will remove that from here and we will have the scaffold widget in here first let me just open the emulator it's already open so then I'll click upon that in here and there we go with our emulator for now on it's just a empty screen okay we didn't just hold to load the app yet that's the previous screen now let's just move further in here take this brush down and we will just paste the remaining code that we copied before there we go simply from here we will remove that we don't need this and all is just fine now we'll go and just hold to load the app and let's see there we go with the google map okay and also in here we provide the target area as the initial position okay as you guys can see the coordinate right in here now what i'll do i'll just add the text as a uh, my polygon right in the app bar in here so that you guys know and give you the indication that we are working out on the polygon okay how to create that now for the app bar what I'll do right in the scaffold 
we'll have app bar app bar widget and then in there I'll just take the we'll go the title and then we'll take the text widget and right in the text widget I'll show something text like my polygon okay I'll just show that also I'll just take this down from here and we will show that right at center so we'll have that center title and we'll set this to true and right after that what I'll do I'll just add the color we'll say background and then let's add the color we'll go with the CN all just fine now come here and you can simply just press the control S I'll just hold it or the app and there we go with the a bar and our tax now let's just move further above the widget bill in here first let me just write the code and then I will just explain it so in here we will have the final key is going to be non changeable so in here we'll take this set as a polygon in here polygon okay and also we will just give the name and make that private so in here for providing that we have to just tag that underscore now we'll say my polygon in here okay and to that simply now we'll say hash set and then in here we'll have that polygon it's by the name polygon so the E is not there we're gonna simply just remove the E from here and all just fine and right at end we'll have the semicolon that is fine so simply as a final we just declare the set okay name polygon and specifically that store the object of the polygon class of this class we just store that specific object by the name my polygon and as I told you already about this final key once something is assigned to this specific object then it can be reassigned after initialization and that specific hash set is basically used to ensure the uniqueness of elements in that specific set so simply we just assign that polygon to the specific object name my polygon and now right after that we're gonna simply just go ahead and initialize the list because we're gonna simply just take the multiple coordinates from the Google map and then we will show the polygon for that specific area that we want to show on our Google map so then we will just draw a polygon for that specific coordinate so in here we have to just initialize or let's say create the list because you will have a multiple coordinates okay for example the latitude and longitude so in here we'll say let and then we'll say longitude okay and now we will just give the name as a points in here in here we'll say that and to this specific points what I'll do now we'll just assign the array in here semicolon right at n and take this down then we say lat with a capital L lat long there we go now in here as you guys can see we have to just provide the latitude and longitude so open the browser and search for Google map then we will simply just copy the latitude and longitude from there as we did right in the previous videos so here we are right in the Google map and what I'll do now just choose any area from the Google map okay for example if you guys want to cover that specific area by the name G10 okay and G104 and there we go with the G101 let's say if you guys want to just draw a polygon for that specific area then simply come here and click upon that right click and you guys can see the coordinate right in here copy that from here and then right after that right click in here copy that coordinate from here and then 
right click in here copy that coordinate from here so there we go with the three and if you guys want to go for furthermore then simply come here and click upon right in here simply like that you guys just copy the coordinates okay and then go to word the android studio we have to just provide that coordinates in there and guys the coordinates the latitude that you guys are about to copy it must be like in a proper way okay as I showed you before okay like this from any area you want to just draw the polygon so we have to just go back to the Android studio in here I'll just quickly pass the coordinates okay so I'm done with that like that you guys just simply get the latitude and longitude as I show you right in the Google map okay and simply in there past it and right after that add the const modifier to all of the latitude and longitude so then the yellow line will be gone then okay so we are done with that as you guys can see I just add the const modifier now right after that above the widget bill there we go the widget bill and above that in here we'll call upon the init state and in there what I'll do I'll just get my polygons in here call upon that in here and then we say dot add in here we'll just add the polygon and write it and semicolon take this base down in here we'll say polygon there we go now we will provide the polygon ID in here the specifics so we'll say polygon ID and it's gonna take the unique name and in here we'll just provide it let's say this our first polygon so in here we'll say first okay and then right after that comma in here and then also we'll just provide the points in here okay we'll provide that right down in here the points and the points there we go okay as the latitude and longitude that we provide right in here before so we have to just get that in here points and right after that comma and then also we'll just add the fill color for that specific area that we want to show in the google map as we copied the latitude and longitude you guys will notice that whenever we will just test the app so in here provide the fill color we'll go with the colors I'll go with the Xeon okay and also we will give the opacity so in here let's have that as 0.3 percent and right after that we'll say geo dasic and we're gonna simply just set this to true so we set this to true which indicate that the polygon should be drawn as a geodesic shape so we just simply set this to true in order to get that right after that we're gonna simply just get the stroke width we'll set this to 4 and right after that stroke color we'll go with the colors dot in here as put we'll go with the red action that is fine in here simply edit and comma and in here also comma add the const modifier since it's constant so now all of the working has been completed and now we're gonna simply just add our polygon right in our google map okay so below that in here we'll say polygons there we go and by the name my polygons in here so simply just set that in here now we will go and just test the app in here how to load it and let's just switch and see the result now come here to the google map and just zoom out from here okay and there we go with our polygon area as you guys can see okay 
so it's working totally fine and you guys can see that we just successfully draw the polygon for the specific area that I copy the latitude and longitude the coordinates from that specific area from the Google map okay and you guys can see that right in here it's working totally fine and also you can see the stroke color that we just add is red accent and also the fill color which is cyan with the opacity 0 0.3 okay and stroke width is 4 and all just fine so that's how you guys can draw the polygon for the specific area that you want okay so basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will be working right on the other concept so see you then